Paul's Guide Diecast News. I'm Trenton. And I'm Sam. And today we are going to cover uh, the latest releases from Hot Wheels. We are going to take a look at the in-case release. And we would like to thank Jenny Collectibles and more on eBay for the pictures. Uh, you can find a link to their store on, our, on the home site of our webpage, hallsguide.com. The first one we're going to look at today is number 12, the 09 Corvette ZR1. Uh, this is a recolor. The first one that came out was a light blue with the Gulf oil colors. And once again, they have the Gulf oil colors, but this one is in white. This is a really cool car. It was cool in the light blue, and it's cool in the white. Everybody likes the Gulf oil. Next, we have number 24. This is a 2015 new model. This is the BMW uh, M4, and this one is a recolor in antifreeze. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of the antifreeze color lately, but uh, here is one. Next, we have the Simpsons family car from the Simpsons TV show. Uh, this one's pink, and this is a really cool model. I think this one, like the Snoopy cars and the, the Homer car before, I think it's going to be hard to find, even if it's released in, in uh, large quantities. I think that the demand for it is going to drive up the price on this one. I think this one will be a hard one to find on the, sec or on the, on the uh, shelves and will probably go up in value on the secondary market. Next, we have the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Uh, this is from the Batman series. There's five cars in the Batman series, and this is the latest one to be released. And this is from the 2009 Batman Arkham Asylum video game. Uh, the next one, before I show you the first edition of it, I would like to take a flashback. So Sam, show us what we have here. This is a flashback 16 years ago to 1999 when the original teed off was released hold there hold it flat where she can see it. all right pause all right so sam we're going to go ahead and release this one from its cage so go ahead and open that one up and let's look at the original teed off 16 years it's set in the package today it is set free so this is for all of you golf enthusiasts out there this is the ultimate golf cart there's a golf cart with about a 500 horsepower motor on the back of it. Hold it down low so you can see it. And uh, this one has the engine in the back. Great place to put the engine, I think, in the back. Um, this will get you around the golf course pretty fast. Now, the next, the, the brand new 2015 teed off two is out and this time they conveniently put the motor in the front so you can't see around it where you're going but it's still a pretty cool looking car and I think this will make some great customs up next the Hollinator named after hallsguide.com nah, just kidding ah uh, no but this one uh, looks like a great uh, a great car transport. This is a uh, 2015 new model. It's the first time we've seen this one. It's in dark green. Uh, we'll see if we can find some cars that will fit on the back of it and haul that one around once we get it. Up next, number 99, the corkscrew buggy. This one is in light blue. Sam, what do you see on the tail there? Um, uh, a... The treasure hunt logo. The treasure hunt logo, that's right. This is the treasure hunt release for the in case. Not a super not a super treasure hunt, just the regular. That's right. This is the regular treasure hunt here. This is the corkscrew buggy, light blue with a treasure hunt logo on the back. So this one will be nice. be hard to find. 
Up next, we have the Snowstormer. This is a recolor. This is a first edition, or sorry, they don't call them first editions anymore. They call them new models. So this is a 2015 new model, and this one is the Snowstormer. It's a snowmobile. Uh, the first one came out, uh, and this is the second release of it. This one is a recolor. This one's in blue. And then we have number 121, the custom Ford Bronco in silver uh, with red accents and it has uh, chrome red construction tires on it. Uh, this one's pretty cool release, I think. This is the first time that the uh, custom Ford Bronco has been out this year. First time we've seen it. Up next, we have the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. This is a 2015 new model. This is the first time we've seen it this year. Uh, this one is in dark green, and this is a, a very cool, uh, very cool replication of a of a real life car. Uh, I don't know how exclusive they'll be with Hot Wheels, um, but the Jaguar, the the real one is super exclusive only 250 were made and it's very very fast in fact it is jaguar's most powerful production car ever made next we have a toyota supra in red this one's red with the hot wheels race team uh, tampos on it cool car but wait sam what's that there's another supra um, what is this? It's darker. It's darker red. Um, it's a nice paint job. In the front it has green wheels. In the back it has yellow. Yeah, so this one is the Super Treasure Hunt. It is in Spectra Flame Deep Red. It's got real rider wheels. Um, these are kind of interesting. In the back you have yellow rimmed real rider wheels in the front it's got green rimmed real rider wheels so this is a, a pretty cool super treasure hunt that they've given us this time next we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air gasser this was a popular release the first time it came out this year it came out originally in orange this is a recolor. The orange one, even though it's been out for a little while, is still selling for $4, sometimes more on the secondary market. This is uh, possibly a Zamac, although it doesn't say it on the package, um, but those are Walmart exclusives. Uh, the Zamac cars are with the, the brushed uh, bare metal body. This one's really cool looking. It's got the pink accents on it, and it includes a pink in interior and uh, pink tinted windows. So this one's going to be really popular, I think. This is another one I think is going to be hard to find in the future. It looks real cool. Up next, I always love the Challengers, and this is a 71 Dodge Challenger. This is a Zamac for sure because it says so on the package. Um, so this is the Zamac color with uh, blue pinstripes on it. And then this one's hard to say. This is another uh, 2015 new model. This is the Driftsta. The Driftsta. Uh, this is a recolor. The first one came out with a blue body and white accents. This time they reversed it and they gave it a white body with blue accents. Next, number 241. This is another recolor. A 69 Chevy Camaro convertible. The original was in white, and this one is in orange. And this is a pretty cool looking one here in orange. Another Zamac. This is number 244, the 52 Chevy. It originally came out in red. This time it's Zamac and it's got red, uh, red and black pinstripes on it. This is a, a really cool choice for a Zamac this year. And uh, if you've been paying attention, the Zamax are pretty hard to find this time around. In the last year, um, they, they weren't quite so hard to find, but right now, you're not seeing a whole lot of them. Um, and because of that, their, their value on the secondary market's been going up. You can check that out in the price guides. Finally, we want 
to look at the 2015 Ford Mustang GT. This is number 247. This is a recolor. The first one came out in blue. Uh, this one is silver with light blue tampos on it. It's a really cool paint scheme. And if you look at the package, it looks as if uh, it's black, but the actual car inside the package is a kind of a dark silver. So we want you to like our video, subscribe to our channel. In the comments, tell us what your favorite in-case release was. And be sure to visit hallsguide.com for the latest price guides, pictures, and news. This is the second one. Bye-bye.